then because this is a special team report. We're just buying a little bit of time here for the semis to finish up. And game number two was actually a return to Aguilon. And, uh, you know, lots of purple. Lots of purple. You just like purple, don't you? I like blue right now. Really? I'm wearing it. Actually, so am I underneath all that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out game two then. Trying. There we go. So, on Team NSOS, we've got um, probably our production, <laughs> our production guy's favorite. doing a dance. Our production <laughs> guy is super happy to see this. We have Leon Chameleon. Where's the, there. where's the third hero on Ion? Uh, it's a mystery hero. <laughs> it's a mystery hero. You're just going to have to find Clearly out Clearly it's Ayla in the background. Oh, no, it's Ted. No, okay. If there's two Aylas, I would have left. But NSOS going for Leon, Skoldier, and Ayla. Ion going for almost a similar makeup between Vinny, uh, Vinny yeah. Skoldier, and Ted. So instead of Penny and Raylan, they've gone for Skoldier and Vinny. So this is our second time that we're actually now going to get to see an Ayla here in, on screen. And, um, They've been played as many times as a Voltar. Uh, uh, no, we've seen more Voltars than we've seen Aelas. We, we've seen, two we've seen at least two Voltars today plus previous qualifiers. Oh, uh, right. Okay, so there's probably one ahead. Uh, and as the update to the semis, I'm still actually waiting for results, but it looks like actually Ion is going to move in with gas. So when we return after this match, we will actually have at least one semi ready for you guys. So that means let's get the rest of this report out of the way. Spoiler alert, much. Let's get this party started. <laughs> it's all public information at this point, sir. No uh, point in hiding it. I know. But still, it's just like, where's the surprise, man? <laughs> anyway, on the red team, we've got Why You Mad, bro, heading up the school there. We've got Leon being played by Topless Gaggle. And then finally, we got Monologics playing the Ayla. Teddy Bear Ayla, available to anybody that's playing in these qualifiers. Look how cute she is! Yeah, this is literally the skin you get for it's signing up and playing, even if you lose, round 128. That is the skin you get. Yeah, well, that skin that I got, unfortunately, got punched in the face by yeah. the Skoldier. Who's being played? Oh, uh, okay, let's, let's take a look at the Sorry. video. <laughs> Vinny being played by Nutabop. And then we got G-Dove playing the Ted. And then finally, you've got Rusty Robbie playing the Skoldier. Looking to get some punches off. And we got the Red Skull here taking a lot of pressure. Why are you mad, bro? Just barely gonna die by Nata Pop's judicious application of a kill stealing dash like that. That's a lot so. of judicial applications today. Yeah. More than I've ever heard. I ever. like the word judicial yeah, and so I do. love the word application, so. <laughs> We're going to work with those two words. I'm going to stop using them, though. So we got Dash coming out. Basic abilities being bought by practically everybody, except for the Vinny. Uh, Vinny actually going for Solar Crab Burgers uh, and Dash out of the gate. Is so it? Huh. Slightly different, which is which is all good. I mean, well, I you'll he have to heal. But. Yeah, well, he can heal off of like just normal you know, Solar Coins, which is fine. Oh, out comes the 500 damage Evil Eye. That was actually really close to getting a kill. Now, Vinny looking to maybe pick up a kill here on the Ayla if the Ayla decides to stick around, and she decides not to. Um, yeah, she's just... <laughs> she was thinking about it. Yeah, she, she thought about it and went, eh, you know what? Eh, no. Uh, tongue coming out on Natapop. Natapop going to just dash away, so he's perfectly fine. Uh, G-Dub doing the same business. So, so back to Aggie. Back to Aggie. Oh, right on. Oh, Monologic's gonna get shoutgunned to the face. We got Natapop who's uh, kind of hovering in, being a threat, but otherwise not deciding to go in yet, not until he sees an opportunity, and that is how the Vinny do. And uh, why you mad, bro? Maybe an opportunity here. Oh, if it wasn't on him, it was on Topol Skiego, as Topol Skiego ends up going down. A throw coming out of why you mad, bro? Why you mad, bro? Just gonna uh, drop on down to get out of harm's way there. Oh, out comes the dash, and Natapop just saying, yeah. I can, I can right through you. that bouncer. Why the, right through the bouncer. I did not know you could do that with Vinny. Uh, yep, you can do that with Vinny. You can do it with Derpo. You can do it with Frog. Anything with a dash. Yeah, I thought it was the invulnerability allowed to do that. Because you nope. can do that with this bubble if you get the immunity up. Uh, yeah, because the jumper obviously won't hit him because he's immune to CC. Which is kind of weird to say that a jumper would be a CC. But anything that modifies your position, really. Yeah. Or, or your movement rates, I should say. Exactly. Uh, counts as a CC. Why you mad, bro? Does get ganged upon and... Uh, Right now, I'm not entirely too sure to who's going to win this between Toppo or uh, Rusta Rabi, but uh, as you can see, both of them are going to actually walk away out of that one. Now, the reason I said back to Aguilon is because both teams have, um, I don't want to call them flyers, but they're like more floaters. Monologix here, when he's in that rage, can actually use the vertical spacer in the middle to his advantage. So can the Vinny. Yeah. 
Absolutely, but if there's a difference between the two is that a well-played Ayla can take out of any and do a really good job of it. That rage is exceptional against the slow-moving yep. fish. It is, because so, he has to puff, Yeah. where she just kind of supermans. <laughs> yeah, and if she's got boots and the three-reeled uh, tricycle upgrades, like she is r unbelievably quick. Is she the fastest in the game nah, on, a, on the I'm default? I'm not sure. She's fast enough that she can almost catch up with practically anybody. And Maybe with the, Penny would actually And with the that. evil eye, you can do a lot of good stuff. Evil Eye, uh, in that case, not ending up hitting anybody, unfortunately. Out comes the airstrike. The airstrike's not going to end up hitting anybody or anything. And it's 4 nothing so far for Team Ion. g -Dub now running away. Rusty Robbie trying to come in with a throw. He's going to end up throwing the Scoldy straight up and uh, into an airstrike. Up, up, and away. Up, up, and away yeah. to infinity and your face. Is it a bird? Is it a fat man? It's Scoldy. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with it's a fat man. Don't call Skull Deer fat. It's not going to end well. I didn't. You did. Oh, right. Right. Oops. Monologic's trying to chase down that Vinny to see what kind of big powers that he has over this fish. But uh, coming back into this one, a half health with a shotgun on one side and fist on the other. He's still alive, skin of his teeth. Uh, Rasta Ravi is actually suffering a little bit here as well. But that last punch didn't go off, so there won't be a kill on either side. And uh, I don't think Topple's actually going to be taking home anybody's head either. So a little bit of an engage, but no kills. And in terms of uh, map presence for both teams, it's really just down to, again, our uh, Puffy Flyers here. Yeah, and another interesting thing is that both of our Puffy Flyers uh, have picked up Solar Crabs. Oh. Solar Crab Burgers. Um, yeah, as I said, like... Having the, the crab burger just means that any kind of cash you get, you result to heals. So if you farm a lot, you know, using your health reduction or your cloud or your dashes, you will get rewarded with those uh, with that health. Something that we're now missing here on Topo as he has died. Which is unfortunate for him. He doesn't have crab burgers. That's no, he doesn't problem. have crab So that's why he died, obviously. He um, doesn't nom, have crab nom, burgers. Nom, 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 nom burgers. Uh, currently five to nothing. Five minutes into the game, Monologic's looking to maybe put out some damage here on Rusty and instead he gets thrown, dashed, punched, dead. Turret kill, actually. Turret got the kill. Yeah, but they MVP still ended turret. up getting the solar. Ron, our, our turret Ron is here. Yes, Ron, go, Ron. Be strong, Ron. Unfortunately, uh, you know the red turret not quite able to get the kill on uh, Natapop there. Yeah, Natapop, Natapop now invisible, looking exactly. for maybe another opportunity to get a. Last minute kill. Oh, Ooh. why are you mad, bro? Looking like a dash Boom. material. Did that hit? It's, um, well, he doesn't have any damage on it. It's still just a base. Like, usually by now, what we see is, like, goldfish in a chrome file. Yeah. So. What's he got now? Soul nothing. Crab Burgers. Yeah, he has nothing. <laughs> and Smoke Cloud. Yeah, he's going for, weirdly enough, a little bit more of a, a later game build by trying to build up his cash flow now. And he also already has those crab burgers, so like he doesn't actually have to leave anywhere now. But every time he puts down a solar cloud, there's the uh, goldfish, by the way. Uh, every time he puts down a, a solar cloud, he will be farming and healing, which means he can start trading out. But again, it's not an early game burst build at all. It's more mid-late for somebody anticipating a long game, which I wouldn't have expected coming out from the dominant ion. Yeah, but it does secure that that game. And it's a safer way of doing things because it allows you to be a much more resilient in these fights. Out comes the dash. Natapop going to pick up the last hit on Monologics there uh, as there is an Ayla sandwich going down on bottom. She just couldn't get away. Uh, her age must have been on cooldown or just, I don't know, something terrible happened and there's no way he could get out. Terribleness is just the generic term I guess we use a lot. <laughs> it, well, I don't know how else to put it. Something horrible, something terrible, something awful. But either way, everything dies. Everything <laughs> dies in the end, sir. But right now, Ion is um deathless uh, uh, yeah exactly they're, they're more or less immortal until proven otherwise and well they tried to prove it on here on top of robbie but you know, he does get himself enough health to come back oh. he's actually going to get tossed into the dirt the snare quake comes out and monologics is going to be very happy with that kill indeed and now they're looking for natapop natapop for tricking them all down into that bottom part and then getting away as fast as again as vertical space get. manipulation in the mid is really good for both of these characters. Mm -hmm. And what was really funny is that Fenny's the one that ended up abusing it the most. Well, yeah. I mean, you, we He's the one only that have abused. that. We only have that movement when you're raging as uh, as Ayla, and she wasn't raging when she fell. Because yeah. gravity still applies. Mm -hmm. But normally, when you think of oh, how do I get a Fenny and uh, vertical area, you're thinking about how to dodge one. And Fennies are usually very bad with their vertical space because although they can fly very high. They're very predictable while flying. So. Yeah, they, they don't really turn on a dime or anything. No. They, Not like a Yuri. They've got the same handling as a very old pickup truck. 
clunky. 1984 ship. 1984 ship. The bow ties. And all I just picked a random fun year. Things. I have no idea if that's a good I'm, car. I'm or not. Not. I'm, I don't even know if it's a good car either, but a 1987 Chevy sounds like it's okay. Well, that turret is now going to be joining most of the 1984 Chevys in the dirt. And there oh! goes uh, the double looking for the trip. Trip, trip, triple kill. Red team wipe out. But we did get actually a kill on the flip side. No, we, we did. No awesome. Yeah. 10 1. Ayla got a kill. Oh. Well, that was a while ago. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. Well, no, no one Either way, there's no awesome thing happening at all. No legendary, nope. no awesome. Nope. Not good enough. Ion, not going to be a part of that of that group. That group's still only consisting of three-headed monkey and, uh... Oh, nuts. no. Wasn't it Ion that actually... Did no, it? they went nine to nothing. So, must have been... It was the other today. Yeah. Boss? It's today. I think it was Boss. No, uh, Boom. Boom? Boom. Might have been Boom. Either way, we've seen two teams actually go, uh... Awesome. And it's not going to be Ion today. Nope, not today. Not right now, anyway. You never know. Quarterfinals. Or one place, semifinals, another. And it looks like that these guys are going to the semifinals. Uh, yeah. To say the least. You can say that. <laughs> yeah, I, I might be able to say that. In fact, I did say that. The big things that we're, you're we're trying to highlight here is just you know, the comps of Ion, the, the team positioning, the communication. I mean, right now, like, they're chasing down monologics. g Dog goes right back to the front lines. He doesn't help with that because they call it out. They say, yeah, we got this. You go back to the lines. So you start pushing out. We need to start racking up more of that tower damage. These guys trust each other implicitly. Yeah, and it so far seems to be working out for them. Uh, Ted picks up all machine gun damage now. It's machine gun range. He ends up getting a lot of damage onto Why You Mad Bro. Why You Mad Bro going down. Uh, Topple Skiego, invisible, now backstabbing, and then gets dashed and punched and, and almost killed, so he's going to have to back off. Uh, the Skoldir, uh, Restorabi, got power briefs and boots. And the Vinny's got full dash damage. Monologics maybe sitting in a bad spot as Ooh, Natapop picks a kill. That double chrome file on a. On a Goldfish. Yeah, that's, that's 700 like damage. That. Double. 700 damage on somebody without pills. I mean, at 10 minutes in, that's almost a death sentence. That is a death sentence as far as I'm concerned. Since most uh, knots have like 1,200 to 1,400 HP, it's uh, it's half if not more of, uh, of a knot's HP at any point in time. Bayou Mad Bro's kind of stuck. <laughs> He's in a corner, but only a, like a wall that he can pass through. Yeah, well, nobody puts Skoldier in a corner. And, and, no, he and, punches through the wall. <laughs> and he'll punch you. He will. Sometimes I mean, with flowers, sometimes with ducks. Either way, it's going to hurt. In this case, he's going to punch you, and then he's going to try to snare quake you and uh, throw gnomes at you. He's got gnomes. I, like, I don't mind the punches. I don't mind the snare quakes, but throwing a gnome at me, that's just rude. Well, who throws a gnome? Uh, the people that don't, that uh, think that dwarf tossing is probably an international sport. Can you imagine, like, James Bond in an alternate reality? It's like, who throws a shoe and just like, tosses a dwarf? <laughs> who throws a dwarf? Who throws a gnome? Who throws a dwarf? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I would probably throw both of them, but specifically gnomes. I'm not a big fan of them. Why are you mad, bro? Picking up a kill on G-Dove. And now Topple Skiago running for as fast as he can. And he picks up that 500 HP. He might be able to pick up another kill. And he does. does pop yeah. goes down. Nice now it's just Rusty Robbie. And he's going to take some damage as well, but uh, Top of Skiego probably needs to watch out for his face. Monologic's now going in for some rage damage, but Rusty Rob and Rice uh return throw not going to be enough. Uh, so, yeah, there's lots of money to be spent. I think I saw $700, $800. 800 on Rusty Robbie. Oh, Rusty Robbie. That is insane. But he, he can't go back quite yet. He needs to put up some of this map pressure so that his turrets uh, don't take nearly as much as uh, they're about to. Yep. But we don't really have like a big push even being surmounted here. Leon is back at home buying, and top lane just kind of you know being done by whatever. Monologics is just going to lose all his hit points apparently. Yep, and he goes down. There's a gnome down there, and G Dove says, "You know what? I can eat that for breakfast." And he does. Uh, he also has knockback on the, the shotgun and uh, piercing on his airstrike. So going now he, for the win. Yep, he's just going to push this base, and a top of Skago going to end wow. up getting a kill. Uh, he's going to end up dying though. Oh, so Rusty Robbie going for the double kill, and that's all the dead, which means that it's just G Dove, and he's just owning this. Pro tip: just jump over the creeps. Yeah, they'll go away. <laughs> Uh, but that will be it. Yeah. So this was the round of 16 matches here from Ion, a team definitely to keep your eye on as uh, they. My God, that was beautiful. <laughs> as they progress <laughs> into the semifinals, which I believe we're going to be jumping into, and that is a confirm here from the admins. Woo! We can move on. We Our can production go guy is so sad that Ayla died and lost.
Again. 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 Zero for two on stream appearance. Well, that's what happens you when you put a little girl into a war zone and expect Ooh. them to do a lot of damage. It's quite the match. Like, a, like, a, like an eight-year-old in a teddy bear costume. But she's a psychotic eight-year-old. She's With an adorably powers. psychotic eight-year-old. Like, take Kerrigan, put her in an eight-year-old body, and then tear up a teddy bear, and there you go. Yeah. Well, in certain lineups, Ayla works actually wonders. You can do crazy things with her in certain cases, but those cases are few man. and far in between in this particular meta. So Yeah, the meta just does not allow little girls. You know, it's... Uh, that we know of. It's a, it's a <laughs> bit ageist. All right, so that is Team Ion, and as I said, when we return, we will be jumping into the semifinals, the best of three, as I believe they're up against Team Gas. Not a team that uh, I'm actually familiar with. How about you? Team Gas, GAS. I fill my car up with it, but that's about all I got. That does not count whatsoever. Although no. Gas is actually really good right now in Canada, uh, that is not Team Gas at all. Nope, it's Ape and Boom. That's a lie. That's the other semi. Gas and Ion will be confirmed. Our match as we jump into it. Gas-powered stick, really? made up of Bar <laughs> Barleton Kanks, Violator, and uh, Renjit. R I think. Rent G. Either way, when we return, we'll have that for the best of three here in the Alienware Awesome Cup. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> Once I ask you to fill.